Hello students. Today we will learn about a shape triangle. Students, you must have seen many shapes around your, yourself. Among them, one is triangle. Today we will learn about shape triangle, how it is formed and parts of triangle. When a single point is there, we name it as point. If two points are there and we join them, we get either a line or a ray or a line segment. What happens if three points are there? They may lie in a single line or may not lie in a single line. If three points are lying in a single line, they are called collinear points. Here you can see point Q, R, S are lying on the same line. So they are called collinear points. But maybe points do not lie on the same line. Then what do, what do we call them? We call them non-collinear points. In the figure, you can see points A and D are lying on the same line. But the points B, C, E, F are not on that line. So all these points are called non-collinear points. Here you can see the difference between collinear points and non-collinear points. What happens if I join three non-collinear points? Suppose three non-collinear points are L, M and N. If I join all these three points, I get a shape called triangle. So, so what is a triangle? A triangle is a simple closed curve bounded by three line segments. Here you can see different types of triangles. Now we will learn about parts of a triangle. We can write element triangle, we can write PQRS, we can write DEF, we can write ABC. It's up to your choice. You can give any name to them. Three corners. We don't call them corners, we call them vertices. A triangle has three vertices. Here in triangle LMN, the three vertices are L, M and N. If we join three vertices, we get the sides. Suppose we join LM, we get the side LM. If we join the points M and N, we get the side M and And if we join the side, uh, if we join the points L and N, we get the points LN. Same way a triangle has three angles, angle L, angle M and angle N. And all three angles and three sides of a triangle are together called six parts or six elements of the triangle. Now I will tell you how to donate, denote and how to write name of a triangle. Instead of writing a word again and again triangle, we can denote it by symbol, triangle symbol. And we can write triangle in three different ways. We can start from any point and go to another point. So we can write triangle LMNS, triangle LMN or triangle MNL or triangle NLM. Now what is base? All of you have learned about base. Base is the sport. In triangle LMN you can see the sport of the triangle LMN is LM. So this is called the base. And angles L and angle M are lying on the base LM. So these are called base angles. Angle N is opposite to base LM. So this is called vertical angle. Let's recap whatever we have done today. A triangle is a simple closed figure bounded by three line segments. A triangle can be named in three different ways. A triangle has three vertices. A triangle has three angles. And a triangle has three sides. Keep revising the concept to make it more clear. Have a nice day. Thank you.